Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoré. Thank you so much for being a part of this family. Thank you for clicking on, on this video if this is your first time. I love you all so much. Even you who is clicking for the first time. I already love you. Welcome to the family. Please do subscribe and do not forget to click that notification bell so that whenever in your content is uploaded, every time that we are live, you will be the first to know. Hallelujah. God bless you. I have a prophetic word for someone and a good prophetic word at that. God says he wants you to get married. Isn't that good news? God wants you to get married. And he doesn't just want you to get married. He wants you to be happily married. He wants you to have a blissful marriage. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we experience delay in marriage and sometimes you feel like God is responsible. Like God doesn't want you to get married. Like God doesn't want you to have to settle down. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18, it was God. Adam was busy in purpose. Adam was busy tending the garden, walking. It was God that looked at Adam and said, it is not good for this man to be alone. I will make for him a helper that is suitable for him. It was God. Adam didn't even know he needed a helper. Adam didn't even know he needed a wife. But God looked at him and thought that he needed a wife. That's how important your marriage is to God. God is the one looking at you and thinking you need to settle down. You have to settle down. So if you have not settled down, there are two things. Either the devil's hand is, is in it or God is preparing you for marriage. But one thing is certain. God wants you married. God wants you to get married. So if you pray for marriage, you are praying for a noble thing. God wants you to get married. But then there is either he is preparing you or your marriage might be under attack. If you are mature enough and you, are, you have gotten to the stage in your life where you are normally supposed to be married and you are not married yet, then it's either God is preparing you or your marriage is under attack by the enemy. Hallelujah. God wants you to get married. God is interested in you getting married. He instituted marriage. So your marriage is his concern. Your marriage is his concern. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that just amazing? Guess what? He is going to take responsibility to ensure that your kingdom spouse get to you, that you settle down, that he makes provision for the wedding, everything that you need. God will make it available because that is his will for you. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.